Hey guys, welcome back. Today in this video, I'll show you the best appetizer ever. It's crispy, it's crunchy, flaky, buttery, all you can ask for. So stay tuned, let's get to it. We're gonna go ahead and cook our meat. It's about half a kilo ground beef. As soon as the meat is brown, we're going to add the onions. We're gonna mix everything. Then we're gonna go ahead and add one tablespoon of black pepper, one tablespoon crushed garlic, one teaspoon coriander powder, and some salt to taste. We're gonna combine all the spices until they're well mixed. So perfect, as you can see, it's ready and it took us only five minutes to cook this with no oil. So now it's time to strain the meat in case if there's any excess water so we can get rid of it. There we go. Perfect. If you guys know me, you know I use lots of puff pastry for my recipes and I love using this because it's so easy. You just go buy it and like make your own stuffing and just, you know, pop it in the oven and cook it and it's really just like, you know, really quick. Uh, so there we go. We're just opening the package. And I really like this one because it's already cut in a square. It's ready to, you know, put your filling in. And if you see it's a little thick, you can roll it out. No problem with that. Just like that. So we're going to make like a triangle shape. I like to be very generous with the meat because this one has lots of flavor. Just be sure to seal both sides so it doesn't come out. And just to make it more secure, you put it on the parchment paper. You can have a fork handy and just press it down and it gives a nice shape as well. And also it helps to secure, to seal it. There we go. I mean, bake these, they're gonna be amazing. So as you can see, the samosas are ready and now we're going to egg wash them. We're going to add a bit of milk. Mix well. And gently brush.
So while we are doing this, but be sure to preheat your oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit and we're going to cook these for 30 minutes. So now we're going to add some black seeds, which is really, really tasty when we bake these. These samosas are so delicious, so perfect, crunchy, crispy at the same time. It will definitely become your new favorite. I am so sure of that uh, because it's my personal favorite as well. Uh, so thank you so much for tuning in. Please, as always, do subscribe to my channel and like the video. Thank you. Bye-bye.